<laughs> Look, y'all. I don't need any. It's a little frozen because I put them on ice. Blue crabs, baby. It's Thanksgiving Eve. We here. What up? Hi. Welcome. It's Wednesday, November 24th. Oh, Thanksgiving Eve, y'all. <laughs> And I got a blue crab in my hands that we purchased from the market earlier. I'm going to steam them tonight for a little uh, pre-Thanksgiving uh, dinner. Dinner. I got some. Put this guy back. Yeah. Got some pompano that I'm going to be doing tonight too. Yeah, she got some golden pompano and some fish. Yeah. And currently getting some stuff prepped for tonight. So tonight I got I got to pre-prep the... Uh, stuffed grave cleaves, also aka dolmas. Gonna do that tonight. Uh, aka wadagduwali. Wadagduwali. And I'm gonna roll them up tonight so I can pressure cook them tomorrow. And then my babe is gonna. Uh, brine Z. Turkey, turkey with cranberries. Hold it up, sweetie. Grab it. My babe put a note on here so he doesn't so forget. forget. Yeah. yeah, I got a brine and rub kit. So that will brine that turkey overnight. Well, the turkey that I am speaking of is this bad boy rocket. Uh-huh. It's a young Tender, turkey. juicy, young turkey. Smaller than we normally get, but it's just me and my sweetie, so. Yeah. Ugh. Don't get your shirt dirty, babe. My New Jersey. And then. Just came in the mail from Mitchell and Ness. Number 34, you already know. Los Angeles Raiders from 1988. Bo Jackson, baby! Second throwback I got. The other one I didn't even show you guys yet. That's yeah, uh, I don't think they saw it. They saw it? By the time I upload this video. Oh, so you guys did see it. Michael yeah. Vick. That black and red one. Oh, when we we're out in the town. Football Sunday. Football Sunday. All right, yeah. so you did see my Mike Vick jersey. This is my other throwback I caught. Mike Mitchell and Ness had a nice sale 40% off. You already know. You guys will get more of a. Oh, I was going to say a full view. I see, I see, I see, hey, I see, hey, I see, hey, I see, I see, I see, hey, I see, hey, hey, get out of the kitchen, boy. But yeah. And then, uh, another thing we're gonna, well, I'm gonna prep tonight is, uh, I got this brownie mix. It's, um, it's a healthy brownie mix. Want me to pull it out? Yeah. It has like great dietary fiber. I'm gonna get do that plus some pretzels. Some pretzels and probably some pecans. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out, but I'm gonna do that tonight so I can be set for tomorrow. Tween with monk fruit. Mm. Yeah, Should we got a lot of good food coming tomorrow. We went to the Filipino market, uh, market you know earlier today. Well, Manila seafood market. Yep, we got some good stuff. So. Yeah. And, uh, a little bit right here. A little bit of show pal. I mean show pal. Pandasol. Come on, dude. Show pal, really? Pondesal, hopia, purple yam stuffed, sweet treats from the Filipino store. Well, that was from the bakery, Valerio's. But we got some pan de ube. Little pondesal stuffed ube bread. Yum. But um, more to come, man. It's about to be a feast. We don't, we don't shy away from cooking it up for Thanksgiving, regardless if it's one of us, two of us, none of us. Yeah, we be stocked. Let me see. Where's all the goods? It's in here. I got some collards. Make my collard greens. You know what I mean? Doing it with some good old... Get out of here. Get out. Get out. There it is. A little bit of smoke. Pigtails. Throw that with the collard. What else I got? Huh? Yeah, they will. Smoke turkey necks. You know, some other goodies in there, but I'm going to show that tomorrow because, you know what I mean? I can't leak all the goods now. You guys got to wait. The temptation is what drives the appetite. Mm. Temptation and the unknown. So, a couple drinks in there, you know. Oh, baby guava. But, yeah, that's a little preview of what we got planned. Let me fix the camera real quick. Da -da -da -dun. Yeah. So... We're gonna get some stuff prepared. We're gonna show you well. They're, you know, once they get, once they're prepared, and um, we got some stuff lined up to show. Yeah, we got a lot to show tomorrow. <laughs> but stick around for this Thanksgiving 2021. Me and my babe. Let's mm -hmm. we'll show you how we get down. Don't we'll play yeah. no games. Football tomorrow, even though it is the Bears and the Lions. But anyway, we're gonna enjoy. We're gonna chill. We're gonna relax.
Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. So the brownie mix is going to consist of some glazed walnuts, just the rest of whatever we have, and drizzled with some almond butter. Um, we have pretzels, but I, then I realized it's basil and garlic pretzels, so we're just going to do this. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is pre-oven. This is what's going in the oven. I used, um, like I showed you guys, this brownie mix, sugar-free, instead of the coconut, uh, melted coconut oil, I used the same amount, but with unsweetened applesauce. I used two eggs, mixed it up, put it in here, and then I topped it off with like a zigzag of almond butter. And I also, Use just the rest of what we had with glazed walnuts. I like crushed it up and put them on top. So let's get them in the oven and see how they turn out. All right, they are in the oven. Let's get it going. Who are you fighting? Look at this crab. Look, you're trying to get me. It's still going at it. Oh, you boy. Dunka dunka dinky. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. But yeah, they're still in there. <laughs> Getting the water ready. Well, not the water. Vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Some seasoning. Let me show you guys. Look, see? Ooh, we ready, baby. Aw, poor Krabby. Yeah. <laughs> Circle of life. Go cheese! We're gonna put, put them funny. in this big steamer right here. I don't want to open it, but... In there. Got my seasoning rock here. Got Old Bay and a mixture of other goodies. Actually, I can tell y'all. Old Bay, kosher salt, ground black pepper. I didn't put that. Oh, that. And I don't have no lager style beer, so that ain't happening. Put this vinegar mix to be fire. Okay, so I realized we should probably mention like our cultural backgrounds because there is going to be a lot of different food and a lot of delicious food. And so, um, thanks babe. And so I originally was born in Jordan. I'm Middle Eastern, uh, part Jordanian, part Lebanese. So I have, you know, I get a variety of Jordanian um, and Middle Eastern foods that I like to cook. So mm -hmm. one of them is being Warag Dawadi, it's the stuffed dolmas for tomorrow. And then my babe here. Yeah, I am half Filipino and half Ghanaian. My mom's Filipino, my dad's from Ghana. He's born and raised, same as my mom. They met, of course, dad was military, met my mother. But um, yeah, I love my culture, my background, the beautiful foods that I grew up with. I still love them, which is why I continue to try to cook them today. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom's always enjoying and laughing at all of my attempts of my favorite like childhood Filipino meals and dishes. I do tend to cook more Filipino food because that's more of what I grew up eating because I mean, of course, mom's was chefing it up, pops was grubbing with us. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, you know, I'm gonna learn to cook some of that Ghanaian stuff too, some jollof rice and some other goodies. But you know, I gotta get that Filipino going, baby. <laughs> then it go on, baby. Yep, we got that tomorrow, and that's how. That's why we went earlier to some Filipino stores that's to right. grab some things that we can really only find there. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. I just wanted to add this in because, you know, you see us doing, e eating a lot of different foods and all that, but, um, you know, we enjoy a lot of food because we are yeah. very Very diverse. culturally diverse, so uh, we're, I'm always up to try anything. Yeah. You'll see what I'm cooking later with that Denny Guan. It's wild. <laughs> wild. Hog Maws in there. Oh, boy. You don't know what it is? Google it. Hog Maws. Yes. Check you soon. Alright, how to get into action. We're boiling guys. That means time to get the crabs in there. So, start layering them in. My brownie timer is going off. Ah, uh, look. Go, da -da 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 -da. go, We have a three-piece baby. Appreciate you guys and your sacrifice for this beautiful meal. We love y'all and we appreciate everything you do to feed us with the seafood, the beautiful wonders of the bottom of the depths of the ocean. I thank you again for everything you've done to bless me with. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, now I need my seasoning. Go, go, go. I gotta get my brownies out. Hold on. Wait. Camera's going off. Check me. 
There's my hands. Let these guys get seasoned. Whoa, about to sneeze. Look up and say orange. Orange. No, I meant like at the light. <laughs> it's supposed to not make you sneeze. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Is it orange? <laughs> hey, what are you on right now? I'm talking about say orange. Fork test. Golden fork. That will tell us. Stab it, pull it out. I feel like the inside is still not. Yep. Oh, Alright. So there should be no residue on that bad boy. Let me see. Ooh, go put it back in. Aw oh, dang it. Too early. But hey, like I said a second ago. How many more minutes? Alright, you guys. Got it out of the oven. Fit in, pulling down. Steamed all. Steamed all. There they go. Change from blue to orange. We're good. Whoa, fogged up, you guys. One sec while I defog or unfog y'all. Perfect. So, there they go. Nice and seasoned. Smells bueno bomb. Old Bay. Bunch of spices. Ah. Let's see if you guys can see me doing that. Let me see. Ah, woo, it smells great. It smells like Maryland. Like I'm about to be at the table with a whole table for like two hours. It's like now I only got six crabs, so 20 minutes maybe. But I'm gonna pick every piece of meat out of there, believe that. So there you go. There's my crabs. I'll show y'all when I'm peeling. Brine in the bag. I'm cutting up, or not cutting up, but opening up my brine a mixture here. Dilute that in this six cups of warm water. Whoa, look at that, look at that. I'll be satisfied. Mm, it is. It's delicious. Yeah. So yeah, brine in the turkey, that's basically just gonna get some flavor in there. It's gonna brine overnight. It's just a process of, uh, yeah. Add seasoning, flavor, moisture to soak into the uh, turkey. Basically, like a marinade. This is a brine. So, helps with the addition of flavor and to kind of keep it a little natural as well, nothing too crazy. So, the breasts, as you can see, the bear. You can open it. Baby. Phenomenal job though. See that? It's like a bird bath. It's like tying my hair. You get it? Bird bath. Turkey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Uh -huh. Good job, baby. Alright. Alright, All right, here's one. Now these blue rubber bands, if anyone's familiar, guess where they come from. You get them with a piece, an item of produce you go when you go to the grocery store. Yeah, Asparagus! I'm not saving it. Look at that. I've never made a turkey like this. But guess why you think you do it breast side down? So that them dry ass breasts <laughs> can get some of that, most of that moisture. You know that dark me is Gucci, boy. That's my favorite. Teamwork. Here she is. Mm -hmm. She has her setup, guys. Yep, rolling up some grape leaves. And yeah, let me know what you got going on, baby. Getting them set up for tomorrow. So I'd rather roll them today because it is, this is like one of those things that is kind of like labor intensive or it's just time consuming. So I'm getting it set up so then tomorrow I can easily just put it in the pressure cooker and um, cook it. So 
Nice. So what's the mix right here that you're putting into the grape leaves? Um, so this is just ground beef. It's 93.7. I actually did add a little bit of olive oil in it. I put in some onions, um, some jasmine rice, a cup and a half. And then I put in some cumin, um, allspice, salt, pepper. And then tomorrow I'll add in like some, um, I'll add in some lemon juice. Uh, typically you can serve this with some like tzatziki sauce, but right. it's just gonna be with lemon and Delicious, something guys. simple. All right, we'll show them a good example of how you roll one up in okay. one of those beautiful grape leaves. Sure, so you don't wanna overstuff it. Grape leaves like so, those came jarred, guys. Yeah. From the uh, Middle can, Eastern market. Yeah, you can usually get them North like, Park fresh. Produce. Take a little what? You take a little bit of the mixture, put it in here. You don't want to put like too much because then like once the rice is cooking, it expands and then it'll like pop out of it. So then you uh, put in the sides, roll it in, make sure it's all together. And then That's it, nice little it. nug. Yeah. That's, you know what I mean? She's got her little ingredients all set up. Mm -hmm. A little prep station here in front of the TV. She's watching some holiday Netflix uh, baking show. Nailed typically, it. Typically, you can make this with like um, chicken on the bottom of the pan, or you can stuff some like green peppers or tomatoes, or even like the Italian squash. Or not Italian, is it Italian? Or Mexican squash, one of them. Mm -hmm. And um, pretty much you just carve out the middle and you stuff it with the rice. But I just wanted to keep it simple. All right, so I just finished these grape leaves. I'm gonna cover them up, put them in the fridge. My babe here. How, how's the crab? Fire. It's good. Yeah, it tastes fresh, juicy, sweet. You know that blue crab taste. Yeah. Mm. We got a show pal right here. Mm -hmm. All right, a little show pal, stop dumpling joint. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, but Thanksgiving's one of my faves because you just sit to relax, chill, eat, mm -hmm. go nowhere. What's up? <laughs> I mean, I love it. So, if you see me at work here, I'm not done. I just got started. Mm -hmm. So, I'll save that. Catch you in a sec when I'm still eating. Yeah. Me, on the other hand, I saved a lot of my macros to for the end of the day, which is right now, because I'm gonna make some um, air fried pompano fish and then air fry some veggies on the side. And that's gonna be my dinner. So once I get that done, I will show you guys and then end the day for now and then end the day afterwards. And then start tomorrow with Thanksgiving. So, see you in a sec. What you doing, baby? All right, so I'm about to put them in the air fryer. I'm gonna do a halfway um, the fish setting. So, what was it, 350, I think? Yep. Just for 10 minutes and then flip them over for like another eight to 10. Heck yeah, get it. We're gonna see if they have the fish option. They do not. All right. All right, so. 350. Hit it. Stay tuned. The picture is good. Where oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you're way good. Yummy. All right, Golden my... pompanos are done, y'all. Set up my bowl real quick. So. All right, <laughs> there it is. Got some uh, cauliflower rice on the side with my pompano. Woo! Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. It's about that time for it. Yeah. It's that day of days, one of my faves. You already know I'm not gonna behave. <laughs> uh, sorry, but he just ran in the kitchen. Could she see? Come on now. Um, shoot, so it's 11. We're starting cooking right now. Yeah, 10.51. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get these uh, cornbread muffins out of the way so my babe can put the turkey in the oven. Um, yep, get that going. Get that, and then what else are we doing right now? Well, it's just doing some food prep still, you know what I mean? Little bits and pieces. Got some hog moss to prep, collard greens to start getting ready. And then, uh, yeah, well, turkey's not going in the oven quite yet. I still got to, <clears throat> I'm going to let it brine a little bit more and then uh, get that seasoning that needs to cover it. And then uh, we'll take it from there. But my baby's over here hooking up some cornbread muffins. You already know what's good. Cornbread fire, muffins fire. Say less, fam. Yeah. I got to get my breakfast going, so I'm going to heat up a show, pal. I'm about to get it popping. You know what I'm saying? Juicy turkey on the way. Juicy turkey on the way. Mm, mm, mm. I'm about to go get dolled up because my face be looking bare. 
Nah, she my beauty anyway. But all right, check in a second. Layers. Back up a little bit. Keep going. What you got here? Some Nespresso uh, coffee, some uh, milkadamia milk, and some peppermint mocha um, almond creamer that you guys saw in our previous videos. Nice. Pretty so yummy. Pretty. Layered up. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna mix it up now. <laughs> to get out of here. Go. We are back in action. Do my makeup. We are kind here. Of. We are here. <laughs> so what you gonna do? I gotta wash my hog moths. I'll show you these. They're soaking right now. Like I said earlier, if y'all don't know what hog moths is, it's basically like cow stomach. Yeah. Pork, I thought. No, this one's a cow. Oh, is it a cow? Pretty sure. But it said um, pork on it. Did it? Yeah. Oh. Well, stomach, pretty much. Stomach lining. It's what's used in like certain southern dishes. So yeah, this is actually using a Filipino dish known as Dini Guan. We'll spell it right here, Dini Guan. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We can look up the recipe for it. Yep. So if y'all wanna try it, if you're interested in knowing. If you're interested in really taking a step to like okay. some, ex or yeah, some exotic cultural Filipino food, yeah. that Dini Guan is where it's at. It's good though. So. It's good. Yeah. But gonna get it going start it up I'm gonna probably fast forward through some of the videos but yeah. check it out hey we're getting the stuffing ready I don't have celery though so it's gonna be an onion stuffing I mean I thought we did, thought we did too but it's okay it will still look like this without the green stuff <laughs> nice. all right you guys my babe got the stuffing done I am about to put these wet the wadi in here. We typically would use a bit large tomato, slice it up, and put it on the bottom with olive oil, but I did not have that option. I had just cherry tomatoes, and I forgot to buy a big tomato. So what we're going to do, I put olive oil, tomatoes. I'm going to put these in here nice and packed, and then I'm going to top it off with um, some water and chicken bouillon, and then I'm going to put it up in the pressure cooker. So I'll show you guys in a sec how it looks like. What are you doing over here? All right, I am using this area because we are very limited on space in the kitchen. Yep. So I'm about to, um, give me a sec. I'm about to uh, pressure cook the wadagdawadi, so the stuffed grape leaves. I'm um, gonna seal it up. I asked my sister how long to cook it for, so it's gonna be for 30 minutes. Um, I got it pressure cooking, pressure cook for, um, it's gonna be 30, 35 minutes. I'm gonna stop it maybe five minutes early, but good to go on here. Mm -hmm. So let's see what my babe's doing. <laughs> Turkey, it's gonna take three hours, 45 minutes, so I gotta get this bad boy going. Yeah. So right now, it is simply getting it out of this brine bag, rinsing it off, patting it dry, and then gonna lather it up with some olive oil and uh, seasoning here. Could you bring Put it back the in the pan, yeah. the oven is preheated 350. All right. Any more? The rubber bands. <laughs> Time to perform the surgery. Right. Yes, sir. Right, let's pull her out. Has been soaking and taking the most juiciest bird bath she's ever had in her whole entire lifestyle. How was uh how was your bath? Pretty like slapping you all. I'm about to get a motherfucking sauna time, sauna time. Okay, let's I'm go. About to get some time. <laughs> start cooking the bad boy yet? I've got the little popper right there, so that's how we'll know when she is cooked, but I'm going to time it at the same time, so that's right. That's what I'm doing, guys. I'll probably speed this up. Coating in olive oil. Grab the 
stuffing, stuff it, and that joint's going in the oven three hours. Gentlemen, this bad boy going in. Let's head it mm -hmm. from the bottom and in she goes, guys. There she is. Check on these shoes. Yep. My baby's over here cleaning. Yep. Reaction. Ooh. Hey guys, it was right. It was baking soda. Baking so. soda. Went to the YouTube video. Baking Stands soda. correct. My man's in so the video. It is. Okay. What do we got? Alright, so it's been on keep, keep warm, but. Let's reveal the magic. Do, 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 do. If I can. Twist more. There we go. Yummy. Yeah, it smells good. It smells delish. You gotta get one to make sure it's all cooked for real. Okay. So, cool. Alright. Taste test. Let's see. Pretty hot, baby. Mm-hmm. My turn. It's missing the the lemon. Oh, I haven't added lemon in. Fresh squeezed lemon. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just oh, need yeah, some man. lemon. I didn't make tzatziki sauce this time around, but lemon on it is gonna be fire. Good. Just a grape leaf freshness. I'm creeping because she's on some action shots over here. Oh dang. So I had to take it out of the pressure cooker because my babe needs it for his colored greens. Right there with but, my hawks. Yeah. Putting everything in here. I'm going to get the juice, pour it on top. It looks and fire and smells amazing. Look at those little cherry grape tomatoes drizzled on there. That's a party dish entree if you ask me. Oh, yeah. Jeez, good job, baby. Okay. Get this, pour it on top. Yum. Do it. Drizzle mode. Alright. Oh, Good to go. <laughs> oink, oink. Pigtails. Smoked. <laughs> they ain't ever had it. Oh, all good. It's interesting. So now this is going to pressure cooker. Get tender for the greens. Pow. All I'm doing after that. 30 minutes. Pressure cook that. Toss that in with my seasonings, a little bit of Creole, onion, garlic powder, and then we make magic happen, baby. Collard greens. Make sure cook. Make sure up, oh, babe. Got it. Airtight. Airtight. Air tight. So 30 minutes. And yes, it is for 30, and it's on. I had to rush over to my directions. <laughs> Pinterest. I'm about to pick out a bottle of wine to crack open because I'm trying to it's drink some wine. <laughs> she hasn't drank wine like that in forever, guys, so I'm stoked on it. Hey, that's a nice fade, bud. Buddy boy. Cutting greens. Alright. I'm gonna ask her maybe she's gonna just stay the night. It's getting crazy. Who's that? Mom. Say hi. <laughs> this is our video, the YouTube. Yeah, you guys are going to be on the air. Yeah, say what's up. We're over here, you know. We got my sister, Christy, down below. 
We got my brother and my mom up top. CJ, birthday boy. Birthday boy. 24. Wow, you're growing, little boy. Let's see. My baby's on work over here. What you got going? Mashed potatoes. So you got the mash going. Yeah. What the heck? Candace, you're on the YouTube. <laughs> She's laughing. Say what's up. That's my little sister, Candace. <laughs> Candace laughing. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. The turkey expert, being my dad, says brush it with some melted butter and garlic. So, brush it. Helps the outer layer crisp up. I can only believe him. I mean, shoot, I don't know how many turkeys he done baked in his whole life, so. How could you not respect the elder's wisdom, you know? Man said, put butter on, I hop too, as if, like, I, it's life or death. I said, let's go. Stay tuned. I got mashed potatoes. Finished up with some mashed potatoes. Used golden. There you go, Dad. Uh, golden potatoes with, um... Half a cup of milk, a little bit of chicken broth, some onion, or not onion, some garlic, some salt, pepper, this and turkey this turkey. other Mediterranean mix, and a little bit of butter. So, got it here. Alright, my babes. Go on and add these greens, y'all. Smells so good. So fire. Smells like smoked meat. Mm. Turkey. Big tails, cologne. So now I'm gonna put my greens in, onions, seasonings here, and that's it. Going in for 45, and that's a wrap for the greens. for the Brussels, y'all. Fire. Not the lemon. Put all that with the Brussels in this hand. Not Same. the lemon, though. The lemon is for the wedding party. Nice. Yeah. Got my hog moths over here ready to go in this pot. Soon enough. All right, you guys. Got the Brussels sprouts, ham, and pecan, maple in here. Okay. When you go on time, turkey just came out. We're on a roll. Pressure cooker just went off for the dang greens, collard greens. Oh, game time, baby. So I'll take that for a bit, and I'm throwing my pig stuff in there. Check out my turkey, y'all. Ooh-wee, golden brown. Check it out. Boing, boing, boing. Greens. Did your air to the air? Yep, say less. Oh, <laughs> snap, boy. Smells so good. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so I got the gravy, we got the turkey neck and all that other stuff from yesterday. The giblets. There. Put it on this. At the meantime, also working on the Danny Go On. It's right here. It's a multi-tasking piece, y'all. I feel like I'm on yep. Chopped or Iron Chef because I am a pro. But, we. Oui. Yeah. We are pros. I just told my babe, I was like, dang, anytime in the future that we know we need to cook for like 20, 30 people, we got this. Yeah. Look at our food. We feel like we got like 30 people coming through. Yeah. We'll Sheesh. show you guys once everything's done, set up. What? I love it. I love food. I love cooking with my baby. Mm -hmm. So I ain't even mad at it. Mm -hmm. It's fun to me. The finish line is almost here. So we're getting set up. We're getting cleaned up. We got enough food for 30 to 40 uh, people. We got so much food. The last thing we have in the oven right now is the 
the ham, but <laughs> Dini Guan is getting boiled up, so I got a little bit of time left. And then the gravy with some of the turkey neck and the gizzards are here. Um, but yeah, almost That's there. How you do it, guys. Okay. Almost there. What do you say? We chefed it up. Look at this. You kidding me? Me and my babe. Two chefs in the kitchen. Got it done in a matter of what? Four hours? Yeah. Whole Thanksgiving feast. Did it why? Why so much food, you might ask? Because we love to cook. We love eating. Thanksgiving is one of our favorite holidays. And we just have so many dishes from our cultures that we love to put on display and enjoy. So we love leftovers. We'll have plenty of it. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm over here like... <laughs> all right <laughs> all right y'all what are you doing i am grabbing this beef blood time for it to go in oh jeez out time for it to go into uh my specialty here my dinny go on just so you guys know this dish so my babe wasn't trying to tell me what was in this dish a couple years ago and yep. like once he told me I never tried it until this previous summer when we went up to his uh, grandparents house in San Francisco and I was like I want to try it so I tried it and it is so so delicious so don't judge it unless you try yeah look at that legit beef blood so this will get stirred in 10 ounces right now, and then we'll see what it's looking like. Looks crazy, but it's cooking. So like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's coagulating a little bit, as you can see. But as it goes in, like, it cooks. This man just made Denny Gorn. <laughs> Say less. I got this in the bag. I already packaged it up and put a bow on it. Amazon picking it up. I got this. All right, you guys, starting from the desserts. Right here, pandesal with some ube, cornbread, pandesal, uh, ube, cheese, I think, pandesal too. Got the lemons for the wedding duwadi, the ham, mashed potatoes, Brussels Full sprouts, spread, turkey, wedding duwadi, got some rice, greens, the greens. Dinny Guan. Dinny Guan. And last but not least, gravy. The gravy, which is coming right up. Coming right up. But, yeah. All right, so this is my plate for now. My babe's over here cutting up some turkey for his plate. <laughs> some ham. Some ham. Uh, yo, that brine. What it did to that turkey, God sent that from above. You guys just missed it. We couldn't get it on camera, unfortunately. But it's juicy. It tastes fire. I mean, I cut into it just like so. I grabbed a piece and was like, now that's a spread. My babe side. Whoa. I got it all here in front of me, so I don't really got to get up too much. But I'm going to be picking, watching this game, sipping, laughing with my babe. Mm -hmm. We here. The decanter's right here in front of us. Let's move some of this crap. All right, Ooh. so that pretty much sums it up for our Thanksgiving dinner, getting everything ready and about to sit down and chill. Tiring. Watch. Worth it. Yeah. yeah. Little football, throwing some 90 Day Fiance, you know what I mean? The, uh, what's it called? The other way, 90 Day the other way. But I mean, we're ready, we're set. We got our food here, we got our drinks, we got our wine, we're home, we ain't gotta go nowhere. Nope. Say less. Thanks, guys. Watching this Thanksgiving little special. Like we, like my babe said, she got her wine and her food. We're about to kick it and chill. We're definitely going to still post whatever was on that before, but appreciate y'all for watching our little recipes come to life. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Thanksgiving 2021. I love it. I love yeah. my babe. Appreciate you guys. Love, you. love the support. You already know. Love yourself. Love your family. Love your life. Happy Thanksgiving 2021. Bye,